Okay, this is the south side of our shop. It is in much need of paint. You know, it gets the south hot su summer sun on it all the time. It's really faded out. It's in much need of paint, both the both colors. And it's got a, a hole in it right down here. I patched one hole, but I've got to patch this hole so I get that patched. And uh, I'm gonna paint it. I've already got the paint and seal it up, see if I can get it a little better. I'm gonna start by painting it below there. That's eight feet higher. 10 feet high it's higher than eight i guess well it's because it's foot off the ground so anyway i'm gonna paint all that first and then eventually work up on the top part but this grass is real tall in here and we're in the, the feedlot you know so i'm gonna mow this back a ways with the riding mower just so i can work around it and looks like we're gonna have people watching this all day these guys they seem to think it's time to eat, so they're all crowded in waiting on me to feed them, but not today, guys. We'll do that some other time. Okay, see if we can get this guy cranked up. That looks good. Got enough gas in it. Okay, I've taken this piece here and I've uh, Put it over the hole and marked off where i want to be and i've got a pencil mark on it i'm going to cut it here in just a second when i get it cut i'll take it over and scribe it onto the onto the side of the shop and then cut the shop out so it'll be the same size all right so i've got the board cut just like i want it and i traced it out right there on the on the shop on the wall and i will uh, cut it out right there just like that okay so i've cut the hole out exactly like i want it and then I put this piece of one by, actually it's, it's a full one by, it's a full one. I put it in there. Normally I would put it vertically, I mean horizontally, but I'm right against the two before here, against the stud. So I put this in like that, screwed in here and here and here and here. I'll put the next piece in there and screw it into this and then caulk it and it'll be ready to paint. Okay, that came out really good really tight really tight fit this building was built in the 80s trying to find siding with that exact same pattern uh today it is it is a, it's pretty challenging so uh just patch it best we can okay after a a short discussion and, and where we're kind of in agreement rather than we're going to keep it white up there on top and around the windows like the rest of the shop is but this these two pieces these two one by sixes they go across the back we're just going to paint them red uh with the rest of the shop so they're they're there for support you know, in case cows bump into them and all that you know but um didn't do much good when they stuck a hoof through it right there in there but uh we're going to paint them red and then it'll match and it'll be lots easier to paint too okay we're hard at it so this paint goes on that color and it drives that color. So, but we're getting through it, okay? We're painting the first coat. And you can see the difference that it's making. This other, man, it was just faded bad. Fading and weathered. Okay, it's two o'clock. We're trimming out. Um, I've got just a little bit to trim below the, the white. Uh, uh, yeah, right in between the windows. I gotta trim right in there. I've got the rest of it done and I've got to do underneath the window. I've done around them. And then we, we caulked all along those boards and uh, a couple other spots. I, I think the caulking, got some paintable caulking. It should be dry. And we're gonna go back and, and paint over that with the hand brush. And we'll have this, I think, done for today. Done for what I intended to do today. Okay, the bottom part's painted. We still got to paint above it up there. And I, want, I got to replace those boards and paint them to on the, the top 
fascia boards, is that what you call those? Uh, rotten out and not good. Okay, we've not been this way in a couple of weeks. We're gonna drive down here, put us up against the fence line again, and see if everything looks all right. See if the trail's open and all of that. It's bright and early in the morning. It's about 8.30 this morning. Nine o'clock, I don't know. 8.57 is the official time. This is kind of a rugged spot. The creek's over there to the left and it's really, really deep. It's, it looks different from any any other place on our property the way, it, and it's real wide and deep. Okay, that got us through pretty good. Here's where we pick up the fence line. So this is, that part over there is the 35 acres that's cut out of our 160 out of our quarter. We have the rest of the quarter. That's why it's got some jagged spots in it. Grass is tall back here. Fence line. Looks good though. So our fence line turns here, right there at that corner and goes north to the road. Um, and we've, that's amazing. Russell's been in there with his dozer. That's amazing. That was like, it was like this over here, or maybe worse. Wow. He's got a mess of trees to burn down there. That looks, that looks great. Okay, another foggy morning. It's no, there's no, it's all overcast, but it is humid like crazy. Uh, not super hot, but it's gonna be. So, I'm gonna try something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna try to cut, see where I've got a line drawn on it, right in there. I'm gonna try to cut that out and replace that board and then make the new piece on the bottom and see if I can uh, scab a new piece in. I don't know. Don't know for sure how it's put together in there, so I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. I also would mention that wasps go in and out of that hole quite frequently and so the fire girl sprayed some wasp spray up in there hopefully i can cut that down and they don't come out and attack me while i'm on the okay, this is coming off and and i guess the good news is it's put together like i thought bad news is it is really hard to get apart and the wasps are swarming me uh so just got to get it all wedged together sprayed it full of wasp spray uh oh there comes one out uh, three or four steps up on the ladder and having a wasp come out on your head is not fun. I don't know if this camera will pick them up, but we have them stirred up. There's a bunch of nests in there. What well, come right by me. <laughs> <laughs> they are stirred up. F fire girl got up on the ladder and sprayed up inside. They're really good and they are not very happy right now. There's one right there. issues there. Need a flamethrower. I know this isn't picking them up, but there are a bunch coming in and out of there. They come out of them, they fly off. We're hoping that contact's supposed to kill them. We're hoping they go, they're flying away and they won't come back. Okay, it's all cut out. This is uh, the hard part, Nail, make, constructing a new piece and nailing it in there will be the easiest. Came out like this. So you can see the raptor is a little bit rotted, but not certainly not worth messing with. Uh, at some point I need to take the, 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 fat, the flat piece that goes all the way down that way, take it out. That's what's mostly rotted away. And we'll, piece, we'll cut a new, construct a new piece piece it in there that should be easy okay after an extended amount of siphon and cutting it in cutting it to fit I got the, the angles correct it all matches up just right and I've got to caulk it caulk the screw holes bend the flashing back down that's right there bend that back down and uh, caulk it and paint it paint it white
Okay, we got the one side over there painted, a couple of coats, I'll probably put one more on it. Eventually we're gonna paint all of it, all up to the top. And we've got this side uh, scabbed in and caulked. And so it's paintable caulk, so I'm getting ready to paint that. And we will have something taken care of I've wanted to do for a long time, just it's a hassle. Uh, and it's time consuming. Man, the sun is out good. So our, our next piece is we will uh, we'll paint this side. We painted the south side. This is on the north. We'll paint the north side here shortly um, the next couple days. And then after I get that painted, I want to work on this on the west side here. Let's go look at it. So yeah, this fascia board here along the bottom is all busted up, messed up, it's bad. So I'm gonna have to take the, the guttering off get that board off. Take the fascia board off and replace it with new and then see if I can get the guttering back on and then I'll we'll paint this side too. This side, other than that's in pretty good shape. I may put a little boundary on the bottom there uh, but this is all good over here and so we'll see if we can paint that and clean it up a little bit. We've had a few really really good days. The weather's been nice Everything's been good. We stayed really busy, but we, we like it that way. We like it when we're busy. Cooper, what do you think? Got anything to say to everybody? No? What do you think, buddy? It's about time to start on firewood again. Start splitting firewood just a few more weeks. It'll be nice and cool. Kind of hate to do firewood when it's hot unless you just have to. But we'll uh, see if we can split all that up first, and then we've got some a couple of down trees. We'll do a little bit of cutting on them, and if we can start filling this out. Got this part on the right will be seasoned really good. So this is in, it's in there too deep, as you can see, and the back part is taller than my head is. I'm six feet tall. So this part over here, all that season, we'll take this and square it off, move it over on top, and then whatever we cut fresh, unless it's an old tree that's down, which we have some of those, well, it'll, it'll be next year. You guys ready? This white baldy, that's Sam. He's he is the, the leader of the pack and he knows he keeps an eye out on, on everything that's going on. Isn't that right, Sam? We're all just waiting on the fire girl. I woke her up, told her it's time to come feed. She would be unhappy if we fed without her being here. Cooper's in his place. 14, everybody's here. Jostling around looking for spots. They're pushing around trying to find their spots.